boys and girls i am late as can be those are the boats that just took off i literally just got in my boat and we're about to go in this thing let's get it literally last person here last person to put in the boat and there's nobody on my spot don't know how but there's nobody here when i tell you i'm so unprepared my gopro is literally on crooked my fish finders aren't plugged up i don't have a single rod on the deck and all i really need is one rod anyways so that's what we're getting out um i'm gonna end up using a couple more rods but for right now, I need to just get me a fish in the boat, honestly. So that's what we're planning on doing right now. All right, y'all, so here's the deal. We are out here for a tournament. It is a three fish limit tournament, and this is a deep, clear lake. I have actually won a tournament here before, one of these Tuesday nighters. And today we're gonna be catching some spotted bass and some largemouth, hopefully some big ones. And uh, like I said, I am extremely, extremely late, super unprepared, but uh, hey, we're just gonna roll with it and see what happens. Came out here the other day with uh, my buddy Caleb and my girlfriend, and we did pretty good, so hopefully I'll do good today too. We just kind of have to see what happens. I'm by myself, solo derb, so the net is a very important key to success. Okay, seeing some smaller ones, but nothing big yet on the live. He's following it, I just need him to eat it. He's coming for it. Dang, they're being awful picky. He's gonna eat it. He ain't big enough though. He ain't big enough though. Whole school of dinks. Whole school of them. Oh, that was not a dink. Those are big ones. There's a whole entire school of them over there. Surely one of them has to eat it. Not big enough. Where is the three pounder that followed me up? That's what I want to know. Because those right there are not going to cut it for us at all. Golly, missed it. This might be the deal right here. They are not biting how I want them to at all.
That's a good one. Hopefully the keeper. Yeah, he's a keeper. He should be a 14, but we need him bigger than that. We'll check him and see. He should be all over 14 now. Oh yeah, 16 incher. He'll keep, but we need them bigger. But at least we got to start now. All right, we're calling us a bass, and it's a keeper. All right, y'all. So, tournament started at 6:30. It is 7:45. I have not moved off this spot, and I probably should. But the thing is, is that. I've had a three pounder chase my bait and I've been seeing them blowing up on shad like crazy. I know I can win it here if I can get them to eat it because the big ones are here. They're just being stubborn. spot there's not a ton a ton of fish here but this spot right here usually is like a big fish spot for me i don't normally come here to just like screw around and catch a bunch i come here to catch one big one so it's kind of the plan right now if i can get me a three or four pound spot and then just fill it out with a limit i think i'll do pretty good these fish are not biting like they normally would so that means it's going to be a little bit tougher on everybody else i'm not saying it's going to be extremely tough but it'll be a little bit tougher and there's a big one sitting right here i mean absolute giant just chilling i'm done wasting my time doing this bull crap Okay. Well, the plan for today was run to the first spot, catch us a couple fish, and then we were gonna run into some muddier water to go after some largemouth. But uh, right now, I can't daggum catch spotted bass, which is a problem. The dude literally just ran away from it. There's a school right there. There you are. I'm coming for you. Crunch time. Got us another fish, but he ain't a keeper. Man, it's tough out here. I'm not even kidding. This is one of the toughest days I've ever had on this lake. No exaggeration. They're just small. The big ones do not want to eat it. Like at all.
I got one, but I missed one. Oh, he might be a 14. He's going to be close, though. I had one, though, that daggum hit it. That's a large mouth. No, that's a spot. He might be 14. I don't know. He's going to be super close, but the one that I had bite at first felt like a dang good one. He's going to be so close to 14. Please just make it. Oh, yeah. Buddy makes it all day. Buddy makes it all day long. That's two keepers. They ain't big, but it's something at least. I mean, dead gum. Those fish in that tree want to eat, though. Which is good. Very good. Got them a little bit fired up now. So I got to go ahead and catch them while they're fired up. Come on, Mr. Biggin. You're looking at it. Dang it, he had it. I can get these fish to eat right here. I don't know for how much longer, but I can get them to eat. There's another one. Doesn't feel that big though. He ain't. He ain't no keeper. He's a fat sucker though. There's a lot of them on there. All right, y'all. I know y'all can't see like anything at all because it is dark, but it is now officially crunch time. And I have found a little tree right here that is stacked with fish and they are wanting to eat. I just got bit by a good one and it broke me off. Of course. I really want to see if I can catch another keeper off right here. And then... I've got this other brush pile and it's really good, but it's super deep, way harder to fish. But I'd love to actually try and hit it. It's right over here in this same general area. There he is. It's got to be a keeper. Oh, I don't know. I can't see. Stay on there. Stay on there. I think it's keep. Oh, I don't know. He's going to be a short one, I think. He's a short. He's a 12. He's a short, but I know there's another dang keeper in there. I am in the legit final countdown. It is 9.26. I got to be back at 9.30. All right, time to go. Now, two fish kind of sucks, but it is what it is. What can you do? We're back at the ramp. I made it literally with zero time to spare, right at 9.30, but... I don't know how well you can see me, but um, I don't know. I don't think that uh, two fish is going to get me paid, but we'll see. I think it was probably tough. I don't think anybody straight smoked them probably. If I would have had a third fish, I would feel a lot better. And I did break off a big one in a brush pile like 20 minutes ago. I was pretty mad about that, but I don't know. I'm still going to show you guys the fish before I throw them back, but uh, yeah. We got two fish, at least we didn't get skunked, but the fish were just not biting today. We did not catch them on a feeding period. At least I didn't. I don't I don't think the fish were really turned on anywhere except maybe largemouth, but hey, we'll see what happens. I'm not even going to weigh these things in up there because there really ain't no sense in it. That guy had seven pounds and somebody beat him with a little bit of weight. And then I talked to some other guys who had five pounds. So we're just gonna add ours up and see what we got. 130 for our small one. There we go, not a bad little fish. Go ahead and put him back, this is our small one. Barely a keep. This one right here is probably about 
I don't know, pound and a half. He ain't too, too big either, to be honest. But I'll tell you what, they're energetic. And this one is 144, so I got like three pounds. Definitely not enough to get paid. But hey, still had fun. First tournament in a while. And that's just how it goes sometimes. I'm gonna go ahead and load this thing up. And I will talk to y'all when I get to the truck. And it is the next day. I forgot to pick up the camera last night in the truck because I was so tired. So we are now at the house. Eight pounds ended up winning last night and second and third place both had seven and some change. I'm not really sure where it dropped off to after that, but I do know that Big Fish was a 4'11 largemouth, which is a really good one. Back when I won this tournament last year, my Big Fish was a 4'60 or something like that. So pretty similar and uh, I had eight and a half pounds whenever I won and it took eight to win last night. So my two little spotted bass would not have gotten us paid. I'm glad I threw them back and didn't worry with taking them up there to weigh them in. Uh, but hey, I was just glad to get out there and fish a little tournament, you know? I mean, it's been a while. It's been probably two or three months since I've fished one. So I was just glad to get out there and actually fish a tournament. I actually think I'm gonna fish one on Saturday. And the last time that I went to that lake, I caught 20 pounds and they usually bite for me pretty good out there. So we'll see how that goes and we'll see if I get to go do it. But yeah, I had a fun night last night. I just wish I would not have been as stubborn. Instead of trying to force them to eat it out deep, I should have went up shallow and thrown a top water. That's how most people ended up catching them and the conditions were perfect for it. It was overcast, prefrontal. That was what I should have been doing. And I just didn't because I was being stubborn. I was trying to force them to eat a certain way and they wouldn't do it. So one thing I can take away from this is don't do what you want to do. Do what the fish want to do. Anyways, thank you all for tuning in to today's tournament video. Hopefully have another one coming this week. Y'all stay tuned. I'll catch you later.